Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Scotch Korean, and today I will be viewing, re reviewing the Blue Snowball microphone. And before I get into anything um, physical specs wise and like the stuff about the microphone, I just want to tell you my recording setup because that has a big thing to do with how the microphone sounds when you're hearing it. So, um, first off, I'm using a pop filter and before I get any further about the pop filter if you are buying this microphone get a pop filter because it makes your audio sound ten times better and it's they're not that expensive like I found one for a dollar but it, like it was like five dollars shipping so they're like six dollar pop filters and that you're already spending fifty some dollars on a microphone so get a pop filter like that's that's all I have to say about the pop filter um secondly uh, I am using setting number two for this microphone because I feel like it makes the audio sound a little bit richer when you listen to it. Um, it does record at a lower volume, but I'll get into that when I talk about the settings of this because there's three of them. But and then third, this is the last thing about the recording setup is I am sitting a decent, like no, I would say decent, but it's a good amount away from the microphone, like a comfortable distance. So it's about a foot or so away from the microphone. And um, so that's that. So now that you know how I'm recording with this microphone, um, also this is not going to be edited in any way. But I'm gonna. The only thing I'm gonna do is make it louder because, like I said, this setting does record low, and I'll get into that. So first things first, this microphone, the Blue Snowball, is a USB microphone, and this is all like it's so easy to use it's I think it's called plug and play is how they describe it and literally all you do is plug it into your USB point port onto your computer and it's ready to use and like it's that simple and it's really awesome and you don't have to fiddle with anything and get programs and drivers it does it like you literally just plug it in and it's working um, but you will need something to capture what you're recording and I suggest Audacity. It is completely free, and you can go in post production and edit your audio to make it sound even better than what you're hearing right now because this is going to be the raw um, audio file. I'm not going to cut out any background noise or anything because you could do that in Audacity. Um, so I, I suggest Audacity to record with this microphone. Um, but next thing, I want to talk about the build structure of this, of this blue snowball. And for being such an inexpensive microphone it has a pretty decent stand um, it's working well for me and I won't get a new stand anytime soon because that's I mean it's good and it's sturdy stand it's like a tripod stand um, I'm pretty sure you've seen the blue snowball if you're watching this review but um, one thing I was worried about with this microphone when I was getting it is that it was gonna be just big because it looks big in all of the um, Excuse me. It looks big in all of the pictures you see because they don't. There's no reference, and it looked really big in all those pictures. So I was worried that it was going to be a gigantic microphone sitting on your desk, and it's really not. It it doesn't get in the way too much. Um, the 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 round microphone part it, it is a little. I will say it's a little. Uh, it looks top heavy, but like I said, it's not top heavy. It is really sturdy, and the stand does a good job, and it's really. One thing I like about it is that it's heavy. It's heavy feeling, and um, that just makes it me feel better about the microphone because it, it feels good. Like I don't know what else how else to explain that, but when you're spending money on something, you want it to feel good. So, and it, it, this one, I, I will say, it does feel good. Um, it's got good, really good build quality, and um, that's all about the physical aspects of this thing so um, now I want to talk to you about the settings and there's three settings and I'm just gonna assume that most of you are going to use either one or two because the third setting is uh, it's it's like for interviews and stuff and most people I'm assuming right now are going to be using this for YouTube or um, instruments or stuff so you're not going to need setting number three but it is there so let's start off with setting number one it is a. It activates. Uh, this is the directly from the Blue Snowball uh, manual. It activates the cardioid capsule, and that they say it's for speech, vocals, and podcasting. But I will say, I think I personally think number one records loud, and it doesn't get the deep bass of your voice. 
Um, I suggest using setting number two and it activates the same thing as the first one but it has a negative 10 decibel pad so it makes it it doesn't uh, like uh, I don't know how to explain it doesn't doesn't like bang the microphone it it, it keeps it sounding uh, more rich and it gets all your voice up in there so it makes it sound better uh, one thing is that it does record lower so it records lower but if you know anything about like how to do in post-production for your audio it is really simple to just um, raise the volume of your audio and I haven't had a problem with that um, and if you want to know how to do that let me know down in the comment section and I'll make a tutorial on that and it's really easy um, but I, one last thing, people say, I've read reviews and I saw it, that they say um, you have to get super, super close to this microphone for it to pick up your voice in a nice, like, rich sounding way. And from my experience so far, oops, I just hit the desk. But and from my experience so far, that is completely wrong. Like, I am sitting a, about a foot away from this microphone and you can hear it sounds it sounds good still so um, don't listen like if you you can raise the volume when after you record so that's not too big of a deal so um, that's all I have to say about this microphone I definitely recommend it as a starter microphone if you're doing YouTube like myself because it's that good and it gives you HT audio well, yeah, I just sounded it HD audio so uh, I hope you enjoyed my review on this microphone and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hopefully this helped you in making a decision about the microphone. And I'll see you guys next time.